Hey guys, welcome back to the show. So, I want to talk about what I did this weekend. Saturday night to be exact. So, I had a movie night. Uh, everybody knows me. People come down here to shop. People know I, I, I like horror films, especially the older stuff. So, me and a couple of my buddies, we hung out Saturday night. And we, watched, uh, we watched an old horror film that I'd never seen before. A friend of mine bought it. He... He was telling me about it a few weeks ago, and he absolutely loves this movie. So, what was the name of that movie? Well, the movie we're talking about is Motel Hell. That's right. Released in 1980. Uh, just to give you a little plot summary on what was going on in this film, I want to read verbatim. So, the plot follows farmer, butcher, motel manager, and meat entrepreneur Vincent Smith who traps travelers and harvests them for his human sausage. That's right. We got a motel owner who also thinks he's the world's best barbecue maker. So, and what he does, he traps people either in his hotel or people just pass them by, start setting up some booby traps and catching them. But the rest of this, I'm not going to read from uh, old Wikipedia. I'm just going to ad lib on what I've seen. So what he's doing is, He's putting he's putting them in the garden. He's burying them up to the neck, and he's cutting out the voice box. He cuts a slit in the voice box, and uh, they keep feeding these people. So I you know I don't know don't know what the deal is with that, but him, uh, Farmer Vincent, his sister, they keep feeding these people while they're buried in the ground with their voice boxes cut out and uh they keep them with bags over their head that way i guess if you know weary people should go walking by they wouldn't exactly see these live people out there and uh so that's what we watched uh, never heard of it uh it's a really good film you know wasn't the worst horror film i've ever seen but uh it was pretty entertaining you know uh like i said can't believe i'd never heard of that film i love me some old uh some old classic horror films, some old cheesy, uh, old uh, B-series films, the old lower budget. And I was looking, here, let me get back to Wiki. So this had a budget of $3 million, and at the box office it actually brought in $6.3 million. So even back in the day, it made a little bit of a money. And actually, I do believe now, I believe it has a a, a fairly significant cult following, even though I'm just now catching on to the whole film. And uh, has a has a runtime of 102 minutes. Like I said, oh, one uh, one notable notable mention that uh, the gentleman that's playing in this film is Cliff. The guy played Cliff on the old TV series Cheers. I'm gonna add up some pictures right here in a second. But yeah, they had a had a character from uh, uh, the old TV show Cheers in there, and he. Actually, I don't think he even says a word throughout the whole film, which it only shows him uh, just a handful of times. But by the time you realize who it is, he's already planted in a garden and got his uh, got his old voice box uh, interrupted there. But uh, it's a good movie. His brother, Mr. Vincent, uh, the farmer Vincent, his brother, he actually played on uh, a bunch of episode, episodes of the old TV series Chips, the California Highway Patrol had uh, you know John and Ponch but uh the the brother he actually played on that TV show so you know a lot of a lot of uh, good cast members uh wasn't a bad movie would I watch it again you darn right I'd watch it again uh maybe not this weekend but uh I know where I can borrow it at Cause thanks John Henry for uh, bringing it down Saturday night cuz it was a pretty awesome movie for for what it was but uh I'm trying to think oh needless to say at the end of it Former Vincent doesn't survive, and uh, by the time this film is, you know, just about toward the end of, end of it, you you're really not rooting for any one certain person. Uh, it's kind of one of those movies where at the end of it, none of them are really good people, and you just like to see every one of them just bite the dust. But you know, uh, the brother and uh, a, a kidnap victim, she survives. So you know, it had a good story, and uh, I really liked it. Thanks for watching.